Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And in this video, we're picking up from our last video talking about the very basics of Christmas lighting. And in this video, we're specifically covering these guys, the pixels that we use to make our Christmas light shows. So as we noted in the last video, I apologize for all the noise of these pixels on top of this table uh, here. Um, these pixels have a couple things that are really key, really important to them. Okay. The first thing that we noted is that every pixel can be its own color individually during your show, during your Christmas light display. Okay. So that means there's a couple things technically about them that are important to know uh, just as a general groundwork so that as you're getting into this, you're building your show, you're conceptualizing it in your head, it's going to make some more sense to you. Okay. So each of these pixels um, are typically what are called a WS2811 or similar pixel. There's, there's different protocols, different types, but in this hobby, the WS2811 type pixel is by far the most common. Okay. And the pixels themselves have basically three colors of LED or three channels on board. Okay, so that means we start our run here at the, at the start of our string. And then we have pixel one. Pixel one can do red, green, and blue. And it can do values of red, green, and blue for simplicity's sake from zero to 255, 256 steps of red, green, and blue. So with those different colors, with those different steps, that means you're able to make lots of different colors. Okay, the technical number is like 16 million. Are you gonna see 16 million discernible different colors? No, of course not. But you can make any color you want. Brown's not easy. Um, um, warmer whites sometimes aren't easy because these are cheap LEDs, but you can make pretty much any color, okay? Uh, they work in a fashion that they're self-addressing. So that means we plug the first pixel into the controller. Don't worry if this is over your head. And it takes three channels, red, green, and blue, and passes on the information to the next pixel and passes it on to the next pixel. And so while that technical level might not be something you need to understand, it's key to know this that, okay, based on where you plug your lights in the controller is where is how they know where they are in the software, okay? It's how they know where they are in X lights. If I have, for example, four of these singing light bulbs that are all the same, have the same amount of pixels, they have the same shape, etc., and they plug into four different controller outputs, I can go on year one and plug, you know, one, two, three, four faces in, right, into, say, controller ports one, two, three, and four. I can take them down next season, I can load my same setup, and I can switch them up. I can switch them up mid-season anytime. You know, I can make it four, three, two, one, one, three, two, four. As long as they're all the same shape, then I can switch them on my controller because the lights themselves, these pixels, don't have like an address. They don't have a programming to them as to exactly where they sit in the realm of your software, of X lights, okay? That's all stored in your controller. So it's about where you plug it into your controller, but even that's easy enough to change if you need to, okay? Let's talk about types of pixels. Now, when it comes to pixels, okay, there are different shapes of pixels. That's the first thing to be aware of. So the standard pixel we talk about, these are the bullet type pixel, we call them that, because uh, they're kind of like a bullet. They're by far the most common. Um, the only downside to these guys is that when you do have them in props, the wire sticks out the back quite a bit. Um, and so if you're trying to mount something directly in your house, you're going to have to offset it a little bit, etc. Sometimes if you go, for example, with a square pixel, like I've got in this old strip here, um, you're able to go ahead and as you can probably see here, um, maybe not, maybe on this camera, <laughs> um, the wire sticks out, you know, maybe a little bit less than it would with the bullet pixel but ultimately um, because these are at just two inch spacing um, there's still there's still a lot of wire sticking out the back okay so <laughs> that's something to be aware of as i drop things over there but as i mentioned there's all sorts of different shapes so like these are some big old pixels in some matos designs rgb trim okay which can be permanently mounted on your house lots of vendors have it 
We really like the Mathos product because we found it to be exceptionally reliable and good quality, okay? While not breaking the bank like some of the commercially available guys, okay? Um, but pixels can be all sorts of shape, not just square and node and permanent. You can get pixels that mimic like C9 light bulbs, those big bulbs. They just have a big shell on them. You can get pixels that are uh, like festoon lights, like party lights for your back deck. Pretty much any shape you can think of, a pixel could technically be made in that shape, but by far the bullet node pixel, these guys are by far the most common, by far what you're gonna see and use the most of in your display, okay? Um, now when it comes to pixels, okay, uh, there's a couple things you're gonna wanna look at when you're buying them, and this is not a complete guide, this is like, whoo, quick overview, okay? <laughs> the first is voltage. At the time of this recording, you've got 5 volt pixels and you've got 12 volt pixels that are by far the most common. We all would love to see 24 volt pixels, but we're not there yet, okay? Um, in general, I recommend going with a 12 volt pixel. There are uh, lots of debates people are going to argue about in the comments of this video uh, as to 5 volt versus 12 volt, whatever, I'm firmly in the 12 volt camp. Um, that's a longer discussion than we have time for in this video. Okay, um, but uh, be aware that your voltage of your power supply in your controller needs to match the voltage of your pixels. If it doesn't, kabloom, you just made yourself um, something to throw in the trash. Okay, uh, so do be aware of that. Okay, uh, what else do you need to know? Resistor versus regulated pixels. This is something you'll see uh, that uh, is widely debated as well, whether you should go with resistor-based or regulated pixels. This deals with the microchip on the 12 volt pixel, uh, not something in five volt, but only 12 volt, that takes the voltage down from that 12 volts to around five volts, which is what the pixel actually uses, okay? Um, the reason we like 12 volt is you can go a lot further. You can connect a lot more pixels in a string before you have to worry about re-injecting power or starting a new string, okay? Um, it adds that extra component, the regulator or resistor. Um, there are pros and cons to each. There are people that fall on either side of the fence. Um, personally, I'm a big, big, big fan of resistor pixels over regulator. Why? Well, first and foremost, they're cheaper and I'm cheap. Second, as you start to run low on voltage, uh, they will just dim and miscolor slightly, okay? Um, whereas a regulated pixel will just shut off or start flashing or blinking, okay? So from a performance basis, I like it better. And hey, they're also cheaper. And hey, if you look at the pixel report, which I don't want to scare you, but uh, in 2020 and 2021, there were some reports of pixels catching on fire uh, more so than uh, reg than in the past, okay? These were typically pixels, like very high percentage of them were people that bought direct from one certain factory that I don't recommend, and uh, and they were regulated pixels. Again, not necessarily something that points to it being a regulator issue. There are plenty of safe pixels out there, just something to be aware of. Um, the pixels we recommend, we like the Matos Designs ones. There are other good vendors, um, but the Matos ones are the ones we've chosen to sell in our store and the ones that we use uh, personally because they have an exceptionally high reliability, they have a great warranty, and they don't catch on fire, okay? <laughs> but they're still competitively priced. So that about wraps it up. Pixels are the lifeblood of an animated Christmas light show. And I hope from this video, if you're just starting out in this hobby, you've learned some new things that you didn't know before about what they are, how they work, and how you can use them in your Christmas light display as you begin to check it out. Now, I've got a gift for you. I want you to know beyond what we've taught in these videos, the four things I really wish I knew before I began a Christmas light display. It's my free guide. If you hop over to learnchristmaslighting.com, enter your email, we'll send it right over to you as well as helpful articles and videos every week to help you on your Christmas lighting journey. Until next time, we will see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As long as you're subscribed, we'll see you.